Avery, uh, you know, start out, you're on the field. Do you guys think about the award beforehand? I know in the past some of the walk-ons admitted that, yeah, we knew what was the award was. Did you um, think about it? What were your emotions when they called your name? So at first it really wasn't something that had crossed my mind. I was kind of focused on the game that we were playing and trying to win for the gold team. But whenever they did call my name, I was definitely I was surprised. I wasn't expecting it at first. But I'm definitely glad it happened. It's an honor to be recognized by an award like that. So I definitely appreciate it. Do you know much about your dad's career? Has he told you about it? Yes, sir. I've definitely I've heard some stories. I mean, he tells me the numbers he lifted and the plays he made. And he loves talking about that stuff and looking back with me. So he definitely set a great example for me coming into this program and understanding the standard that that was needed to be met. Coach Brown mentioned it's been a sometimes difficult process for you making the adjustment to college football. What motivated you and kept you going when you met some setbacks? Definitely. So knowing my dad went through the similar struggle, it was easy to be able to confide in him and talk to him. And he, off he offered me advice throughout the process. But definitely going through it with other walk-ons was a big thing for me. Preston Fox, CJ Cole, Tyler Evans, guys like that really helped me go through it because they were going through the same thing. So that motivated me to keep going. We'd see each other in Monday Night Football, have a good time out there. So definitely. What is an example of uh, like a Hudson Command? show you and, and provide you as an example last year end up getting a scholarship after a big game and how one of the integral players of the team a year ago this time maybe Definitely. not having those thoughts. So as walk-ons, I feel like we're really like a close-knit group. So whenever Hudson first got here, he was one of, um, one of my good friends whenever he got here. So we kind of just motivate and bounce off each other because we're all, we're all walk-ons. We all know the struggle that we're, we're each going through. So kind of just picking up energy off each other is definitely, I think, how we stay motivated brought you here? Was it your dad just always on you to come here? You're from South Carolina, so yes, sir. how did it work? Um, I've been a Mountaineer fan since I was a little kid, so coming to play here was a dream of mine. I grew up watching guys like Stedman Bailey and Tavon Austin and Geno Smith, so coming here was definitely a dream of mine to play on, play on Mountaineer film. How many times do you watch the Tavon Austin highlight video? Oh. <laughs> Every night. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I definitely watch it probably once a month, probably, it finds its way onto my TV. If you're a fan of highlight videos, we were talking about a little bit with uh, Garrett. Were you familiar with the full-on highlights of Pat White? You have to go back and check them out a little bit now oh. that you knew he was coming back here a little bit before your time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I had seen a few highlights, but not like the entire clip. He's got a, he's got a long highlight reel, so <laughs> there's definitely a lot to watch. But I watched a lot of Carl Joseph highlights growing up. I wore number eight in high school and in Pee Wee, so definitely. Do you think, what do you, what, what do you want your role to be on this year's team? Um, I believe my role in this team is to be a, a glue guy and a guy that like sets the standard for the other guys, the new guys coming into the program. I feel like I've learned how to train and how to um, lit, take coaching and how kind of the process works here. So being able to instill that in the younger guys is a big role I take seriously. How did your dad, when you talk to him about his career, how does he kind of talk about walking on and, and process definitely I mean he he doesn't shy away from it he knows it's a difficult process told me it would be a difficult process so whenever I go back and I'm telling him like hey I'm struggling with this like he fully gets it and he's always there in my corner to give me advice or tell me hey like you need to work on this or pick me up whenever I'm feeling down what motivates you to go through this here rather than maybe be a you know on the field more at a lower level school. I mean, you know, obviously there's different things for different people. What motivates you to push to this level? Definitely. I think this place is really special because of the, the community and the fans. The fans really are invested in the program here. They love to come out to games, love the support from home. So I think the, the fans here, I go back home in South Carolina and I see West Virginia flags and yards on, on the backs of cars. So the fan base, I feel like, is really across the country. And that's something that's really special to me. And yeah. Yes. Yes. He was in the crowd. Yeah, I got to. I was lucky enough to talk to him after the game, and it was a pretty special moment for uh, me and my family. Mom from West Virginia. Where's she from? Yes. Um, my dad and my mom both grew up in the same place, Milton, West Virginia. Milton. I knew yeah. they were Huntington area. So yeah, small where your town. dad was. So your mom is too, huh? Yes. So it, did those again? Those roots. Did you feel a connection with West Virginia long before you? moved to West Virginia? Oh, definitely. So 
I remember going to my grandfather's house in Milton, West Virginia, and he had an apple tree outside, and we'd watch West Virginia games, play NCAA all day. So I've been a West Virginia fan since I was little, and definitely it's, it's been great to be able to come play here. Uh, WVU game I remember going to? Um, so I hadn't been able to get up to come to a West Virginia game in Morgantown. The first one I went to was against Tennessee and Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte. So being able to see some of those guys and then being able to play with those guys a couple years later was definitely a pretty cool experience. You mentioned your academic side too uh, and you're good there as well. Uh, where'd you learn to take that? You know, seriously, uh, and you know, what's that bring you in the future? Um, definitely. So in school, I feel like even in high school, I tried to get a variety of different subjects that I was studying so I could be as versatile as possible. That's something I also try and mirror in football by learning different positions. But I, this in college in particular, I took up MIS, I took up the sales team, and I took up football, and I mainly did that to develop my skill set in different areas. Thank you all.